Earlier, I detailed how to make a simple motor mount for any Hobie kayak. Let's take a look at how it actually works out on the water. That's a Seve Lore or Water Snake uh, trolling motor, small motor, 18 pounds of thrust. On low, it's already pushing us at 2.4 miles an hour. Let's kick it up on high. Give it a few seconds to build a little bit of speed. We're over three now, 3.2, and that's a pretty good uh, speed when you consider that this is a Hobie Adventure Island, one of their larger kayaks, fully rigged, dagger board, Mirage Drive in the water, some gear in the back. Pretty good little motor, all things considered, for a, a kayak which is fairly substantial by most kayak standards. Very little wind today, very little current, so we, we've got a fair recording of what this motor will do. A 30-pound motor will get you a little more, not as much as you may think, maybe a quarter to a half mile an hour, that's about it. But the main thing is, I wanted to show you how well the motor mount works. You won't see the motor lift out. You won't see it bounce around. It's not strapped in. It's not bolted down. It's simply set into the rod holder, as I detailed in my earlier video. The motor is fixed. We steer with the tiller, just as we always did. Again, it's a very simple contraption. Works very well. And will work on any Hobie kayak with the standard Hobie molded in rod holders. Now let's say that we came up on a shallow area or simply wanted, wanted to sail or even wanted to use the pedal drive without the motor in place. How do we remove it? Well, let's take a look. It's easy. Just grab it, lift it out. That's all there is to it. And of course, putting it back in is just as easy. There's certainly more elaborate systems on the market. This system is very simple. But then, kayaks are pretty simple. That's part of their attraction. 